In this video, I will show you how to duplicate our theme demo. First, download our theme from ThemeForest. You can unzip the files and then you will see this. So this is the structure of our files. You can see the license, documentation, WordPress theme, and the dummy data. First step, install your WordPress. So this is a fresh installation of WordPress. Next step, install your theme. Go to appearance themes, click add new, and then click upload theme, and then select this file. Okay, I will click install now. Right. I will click activate next step you need to install the required and recommended plugins you can click this link I will select all then click install okay Next step, I will install the dummy data. I will go to tools, import. I will choose WordPress. Okay, select this file, upload and import. admin download and import file attachment next step okay i will refresh uh, the website Okay. Now you do not see the menu, so you can go to the appearance menus. Manage location, and then choose header menu, and then footer menu. Save change. Okay. This is the header menu and this is the footer menu. Okay, now set up your home page. Go to the settings, reading, and then choose a static page. I will choose home. Okay, I will click save change. And now, this is your home page. Okay, this is the widget. So next step, we will import the dummy widgets. You can go to tools, widget, importer, and exporter. And then, you can select this file. I will click import widgets. Okay, now I will refresh this file. Now you see the default widget. Okay, next step you will see this error slider with homepage slider not found. So let's go to the revolution slider. And then click import slider. Okay. 
now you can choose this one and now click import slider Okay, now refresh this page again. And now you see the slider, the revolution slider. Okay, now we still have some message here for the first one. Projects by Wodims is almost ready. So I will click this one. So for the projects page, I choose, let's choose the portfolio, I will click save change. For this one, I will click never show this message again. And then for this one, I will click skip setup. But I will go to the WooCommerce settings. Now we will set up WooCommerce pages manually. I will show you how. First, you can go to the products tab. And then for shop page, choose shop page. And then you can go to checkout, scroll down, and for chart page, I will choose my chart page. For checkout page, I will choose my checkout page. For this one, I still do not have any term and condition page, so I will leave it. Click save change, and then I will click accounts. And for my account page, I will click my account save change how to check if uh, my setting is correct I will go to the setting system status and then you can see here okay my WooCommerce pages it show a green color which means it's already correct so but you can see that you will see this one red notice you WooCommerce recommend settings memory at least 64 megabytes so you need to increase the memory you can click this link and read the instruction okay now we need to check uh, if everything looks good or not okay so this is the home page and this is your shop page and this is your portfolio page and this is your blog page So, and this is contact page, okay, right, so for the blog page, you can set up this page by visiting settings, reading, and this one, for post page, you can choose your blog page, and click save change. And for contact page, this one, you can change the map, you can go to the appearance, theme option, and then you will see contact map, so you can change it here. The last one that I 
suggest you to do is go to settings permalinks and click this one host name and then this one also I usually I choose this one or this one click save change that's all and you already have duplicated our theme demo properly